The Lisa Maria Jones hurdle is next, and this is for mares only, and I think it's the second mares only race of the week. This week, this one's a three mile one version though, and the top one is Goodnight Naples to Ryan Costello, Jumping Jack Flash, Paul Rhodes, Latent Damage, Daniel French, Rampant Lion, Alex Cherry, Stroll Wigmore, James Shea, Tamanako, Gift Darren Thompson, Initial Legacy for Craig Allen, Lady Tinkerbell, Jim Murray, and Scenario Woodfire for Thomas Rogers. So nine of the men, maiden fillies, and oh, maiden mares, and away they go. I'm racing down towards the first, and they have got. 11 flights to take in all, they're already over the first one of them and Jumping Jack Flash is pushing for her head, so a strange name for a mare, Jumping Jack Flash, but anything goes in SO7. Stroll Wigmore moves into second, Leighton Damage is third, then Initial Legacy, a Rampant Lion, Lady Tinkerbell, Goodnight Naples and finally Tamanarco Gift. So a fair old way to go, and a pretty small field, just the nine of them. So they get towards the end of week two. It's been an interesting season already so far. And Jumping Jack Flash is in the lead by probably two and a half lengths as they get down to the second. Gets over that one nicely. All hurdled that one well. With a strong Wigmore and the green jacket on the outside of the blue jacketed Leighton Damage. Both got the red caps on. And in fourth is the different shades of green for Scenario Woodfire for Thomas Rogers. And we've got Jim Murray's red sleeves and black body of Lady Tinkerbell with rampant lion for Alex Cherry and his orange sleeves as they get down to flight number three where Tamanarco Gift jumped it up really well there in the maroon with the white sleeves for Darren Thompson went past rampant lion initial legacies in the green and the yellow hoops that's for Craig Allen and the white and the green hoops is goodnight Naples for Ryan Costello at the back so jumping Jack Flash then Continues to lead for Paul Rose. I don't know if he's had a winner on the jumps yet this season. I haven't seen one. I could have had one in one of the races that I haven't covered today. And leads by about four lengths, maybe even five. To Strong Wigmore second, and Latent Damage third, Lady Tinkerbell is fourth, and then Samanarco Gift is five, and Scenario Woodfire is six, and Nishan Legacy seven, Rampant Line eight, and Goodnight Naples nine. It's their race in virtual Indian farm, not quite Indian farm, but near enough. And Jumping Jack Flash comes down to this next one. Takes it in the lead all over it nicely. A little bit slow, maybe good night Naples, but nothing too dramatic as they make their way up the home straight. Going past the stands, and this will be the final flight in a circuit's time. See, it's not a huge running. Long enough for things to change. As they race away from us and prepare themselves to swing right handed on one more circuit of this Kempton track. And Jumping Jack Flash is in the lead by four lengths to Stroll Wigmore and Lady Tinkerbell racing together. Tamarako Gift is just tucked in behind them. Then the grey latent damage is still nicely placed. Scenario Woodfire and Initial Legacy next and being pushed along Rampant Lion and Good Night Naples is just the back marker. As they get down to the sixth, which they are all safely over. Jumping Jack Flash is leading down to a couple though now. Lady Tinkerbelt is stalking in second. Just being eased back a little bit that one. I want to go too soon on it as they get over the seventh flight. Jumping Jack Flash from Lady Tinkerbell and Tamanarco Gift. Stroll Wigmore's back in fourth and Scenario Woodfire is fifth. And Initial Legacy is going to be closer. Latent Damage is the one that's just lost its place a little bit. Rampant Lion's going to try and come round the outside. Um, Good night, Naples is still tucked in at the back. Waiting to make a move. Four more flights to take then. And just a little over a mile to go. You can see the stand in the distance. That's where they've got to get to. And Jumping Jack Flash has been in the lead all the way so far. Leads by two and a half lengths to Tabernacle Gift in second. Over the fourth last they go. Lady Tinkerbell is third. Let's draw with more four. Jumping Jack Flash looks to be going easily in front. Tabernacle Gift though. 
he's edging closer. And he's not really made a move on Lady Windmill, Lady Tinkerbell yet. Lady Windmill, I'll get that one from over the third last they go. Good jump there by Lady Tinkerbell. Let's move into second, and the distress signals may be starting to be pushed out on Jumping Jack Flash as he begins to scrub along to keep the lead. But he's doing so at the moment. Just does look like a matter of time, though, doesn't it, before Tamanarko Gift and Lady Tinkerbell come by. Nishar Legacy is the one that's making a really good run from the back. It looks like he's going to try and get involved in the business end of the race. Strong Wigmore's not to be discounted yet either. But it's still Jumping Jack Flash repelling Raiders at the moment. But look at this initial Legacy. The jockey's run it straight into a cool this up, though. Didn't he swing it around the outside? He's asking for trouble. Craig Allen's already had one disqualified this week. We'll be... Uh, Hoping he doesn't do the same thing here, but it's jumping Jack Flash who's in the lead, being pressed by Nishan Legacy, Tamanarko Gift on the outside in third. Lady Tinkerbell has been a real disappointment, looks to be going really well and has just dropped right out of it, but Nishan Legacy and jumping Jack Flash having a ding dong battle then as they come down towards the second last and over it they go, jumping Jack Flash landed in the lead, jumped it better. And Nishan Legacy in second, Tamanarko Gift third and now Lady Tinkerbell's getting going and so too strong with more, this could all change again as they come down towards the final flight then. It's jump Jumping Jack Flash, Initial Legacy between these two, surely Tamanarko Gift trying to close. Initial Legacy gets up on the outside. It's Initial Legacy who's going on, but Jumping Jack Flash is fighting back on the inside. Jumping Jack Flash has got up and taken it. And Jumping Jack Flash wins it. And that is Paul Rhodes' first winner of the season on the, on the National Hunt side of things. It's a well deserved one because it led all the way, it looked beaten, and it's fought back up and won it by a neck in the end to Initial Legacy second, Tamanarko Gift third, and Lady Tinkerbell is the one that's run a strange race, running on again towards the end in fourth, so Jumping Jack Flash does take it for Paul Rhodes by a head it says there, Initial Legacy for Craig Allen was second, Tamanarko Gift Darren Thompson third, Lady Tinkerbell Jim Murray fourth, and Strong Wigmore for James Shea was fifth.